welcome back to our channel you're here with me Sarit and Stevie K okay today guys we're watching it's my birthday stand-up comedy and it's by Samit Anand yeah um, we'd done a video of his before and uh, everyone went no uh, that one was good but this one's better so we're gonna check this one out if you're new to our channel don't forget to like share subscribe also check out our other channel I'll put the links in the description below so uh, enough about that let's just uh, quickly get on with it yeah here we go Children content ahead. Disguised as adult content. Let me tell you more. I was actually born in Haryana because my dad, you know, did it there only. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there, man. I would have stopped it. <laughs> By the time I got to know too late. <laughs> he was also born in Haryana because grandpa. <laughs> We are not Appaka Sindhu. I come from a long line of family who don't know where to do it. <laughs> Keep doing in Haryana itself. <laughs> and don't you know, location is important. <laughs> it took me 20 years to get out of Haryana. <laughs> uh, emotionally. <laughs> Otherwise, you could take a bus. <laughs> <laughs> emotionally is the one that takes a while. <laughs> now people are like, you don't sound like Haryana. I'm like, I didn't talk. To anyone <laughs> <laughs> for 20 years because I listened and nothing I heard was exciting enough for me to contribute. I was like, they are doing enough damage by themselves. <laughs> Remain silent for 20 years. <laughs> now you can all talk in ever. Got out of Haryana, learned English quite late. Yeah, in college we used to have a back with friends to always talk in English, so we never fought. <laughs> Dude, if you cut down your vocab, the amount of friendship that you can form, potential is unlimited. The guy standing there asking me, what did I do? And you are like, you fucking you. I know it in Hindi, man. <laughs> you are a bad person. <laughs> you forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the answer. I forgive you. Again. It's like I'm the Lai Lama out of language barrier. <laughs> Certain words in English I still can't use. I know the word, I know the meaning. That should be sufficient. I just didn't grow up like that. One of these words is flabbergasted. <laughs> People use it in front of me. I'm always like, what do you Dude, we were just talking. You didn't have to bring all this up. And I thought we were friends. <laughs> Behind my back, have you been using the word Rantavu? What's going on, man? <laughs> and they use it for trivial stuff. They go like, dude, I went to the zoo and I was flabbergasted. I'm always like, how did you come back alive then? <laughs> What's going on at the zoo, bro? I've been to the zoo, I've never been that word. <laughs> that word. <laughs> masturbating when I was 12, I was simply surprised. <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. That's the height of emotion that I could reach. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, my dad was flabbergasted. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't know that word. We were not that rich. <laughs> That's a rich people word. You don't imagine kids under flyover talking like, I'm flabbergasted <laughs> by the heat in the capital today. <laughs> I still don't know at what point flabbergasted is an appropriate word to use. That You have to use it now. That situation, my dad caught me masturbating. That was surprising. <laughs> then my dad comes in and he starts masturbating. <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Then my mom on the side should be going, that is flabbergasting. <laughs> I'm just checking. She didn't know that word either. We were all not rich. <laughs> Although like my family is not rich and mom is rich on the side. <laughs> we were all together and shit in us in life and words. <laughs> Some people are confused. I've never masturbated with my dad. These are jokes. <laughs> 
staying home alone all day, I get these thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a good person. I give money to beggars. Anybody does that? Might be. What's that noise? <laughs> not a yes like a or a no, just shouting. Woo! <laughs> That's an answer to the universe. <laughs> I give them. Anybody? Yeah, how much? Huh? 50? 10 or 50? That's a nice bracket. What do you what do you look for in a beggar? <laughs> So 51, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a threat, though. <laughs> I give them 100 bucks. Yeah, it's not a selfless act. I need to see the look in their eyes. <laughs> That's why I've been asking around, is anybody giving more than 100 bucks? <laughs> Recently, I haven't been getting the look. <laughs> Don't raise the stakes, man. <laughs> give them 100 bucks. They can't even believe it. They start giving change back, 90 bucks. <laughs> One time I was in my cab, there was a kid next to the red light and he was smiling and I was like, that's a cute smile. I smiled back. Then he started walking towards my car. And I was like, did he just trap me? <laughs> Fuck, man, he was next to my window going, so? I'm like, so what? <laughs> I use smile. <laughs> I use smile. <laughs> I smiled back out of my love. You're converting this into capitalism. <laughs> He just stood there. Hoping for a return smile from strangers. I was like, make sense? Here is your hundred bucks. Here is another hundred. You just gave me stand-up material. I'll convert the second hundred into thousands. Won't give you anything. I converted this into capitalism. That's how it works. I win and you lose. It's predefined. He still stood there silently. He said, bro, you don't understand. But you keep saying, you'll get money. This is the easiest money I have ever made. He told fellow beggars, guys, chase this guy. This guy speaks shit and then money comes up. He's our ATM. Learn the word capital seems important. <laughs> Might be a good person. Never rate an Uber driver less than five. <coughs> Can't. Which proves I might be a good person and definitely not a woman. <laughs> not that I needed the proof. <laughs> but I feel, I, I don't think any girl is walking into a cab thinking definitely a five star. <laughs> Even if it does well, they'll still be like four star for future mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> This is for fellow woman. He's a man, he'll fuck up. I'm just guessing I've never been a woman. I can't rate the Uber driver less than five. I play around though. Sometimes I sit at home, book an Uber, and then take a call if I should move or not. I'm just checking if the world is ready for me. The guy's like, I'm at the location. I'm like, can you go to the destination and see if it is worth it? <laughs> Just live my life on my behalf and report from my future. One time I actually went to the location and I was sitting in my cab. There was a guy, pressure behind me, a bunch of taxi people are just staring at me. Have you had that feeling while taking an Uber? Taxi was just like, nah, man, don't do this. <laughs> like, why? Why give money to the rich? Give it to the poor. And I was like, makes sense. Great way of selling taxis. <laughs> so I ignored him. <laughs> Lot of things make sense. You don't have to follow. <laughs> you can just agree. It makes sense. Do what you like. <laughs> like, you should brush twice a day. Ah, uh -huh, you should. <laughs> brush thrice a day. <laughs> Fucking keep brush. <laughs> sat in my Uber. Uber driver even let him know. I sit down even let him know. I'm like, dude, whatever happens from here won't change the stars between us. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, I've said it. <laughs> I can't, even if he gets me late, which is a huge feat, guys, because I have time. <laughs> I can even tell you, time is not money. I just have time. Some ego to many lakh bucks, I've done. 
मेरे को जिंदगी में मोड़ आया था टू चूज टाइम और मनी एंड आई थॉट मुकेश अंबानी को मैं पैसे में तो नहीं हरा सकता <laughs> उसमें थोड़ा सा आगे निकल गया वो ऐसी <laughs> जिंदगी का क्या ही फायदा जो मुकेश से हार गए मेरी गेम है अब मैं बैठा होता हूँ मंडे मॉर्निंग लिस्टिंग टू रेडियो हेड फॉर फोर आवर्स एंड आई जस्ट वंडर अभी मुकेश क्या कर रहा होगा मंडे मॉर्निंग मीटिंग में बैठा होगा लूजर आई वन प्राइवेट प्लेन में भी होगा तो एक्सेल शीट्स पढ़ रहा होगा गुड आई एम डांसिंग नेकेट इन माई ओन हाउस Mukesh lost. Loser Mukesh. <laughs> Wrote this joke just to say the last two words every night. <laughs> Loser fucking Mukesh. That's why he has a house which looks like a dick. He's insecure. <laughs> he lost to me <laughs> in a competition he didn't even know about. <laughs> Care, I want it in my own head. I'll write it on my grave too. First, I'll have a grave. I don't believe in religion. I lived as a Hindu, died as a Christian. Man, who cares? I'll have a grave. I'll write Mukesh Ambani lost to me. Yeah, other people visit the grave and they look at my grave. They'll be surprised. They'll be like, Mukesh lost. His friend will be like, अपने भाई के grave पे चलते हैं. वहाँ तो उम्र ही लिखी है. What the fuck? Mukesh lost. Which game? <laughs> Cricket. वो तो सारा खरीद लिया था ना. <laughs> Politics. Same answer. <laughs> Which game, man? The daydreaming man. He made up a game, won it himself. <laughs> He dances naked in his own house and wins against Bukesh. <laughs> Bukesh doesn't even know him. Who knows? This guy will start thinking. You can write anything on your grave. It's your grave. <laughs> Have fun with it. <laughs> first of all, why should only successful people leave a message? Right? First, you had a good life. You want to preach even after life. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and be dead. <laughs> you lived your life properly. Now be dead properly. <laughs> How do you be dead properly? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> If you're really successful, we'll give you a Google Doodle every year. <laughs> every successful person you read the interview, I just wanna leave a man. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's your grave. You write anything. Have fun with it. People visiting the graveyard, give them a laugh. They look at your grave. You just write, Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Heaven is real, <laughs> like an asterisk sign. They're like, what does the asterisk say? But it's like mostly mud. <laughs> They go to the next grave. You're right. Hey, hell is also real. <laughs> what does the asterisk say? I'm the same guy from last grave, just fucking with him. <laughs> yeah, go to the next grave. That one is also mine. <laughs> That one has a questionnaire. Which one has my body? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, let's talk about relationships because uh, I have the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a girlfriend then she got to know me. <laughs> she didn't leave, she kept saying, "I know you." <laughs> Which for some reason sounds even worse. <laughs> so I had to dump her. <laughs> Just to have the one-time pleasure of saying, "Did you know that?" <laughs> yeah. Then I cried all night, but who knows that? <laughs> Relationships are difficult, man. I'm actually I'm 34 years old now. I know. <laughs> Keep growing. I'm actually 33, but I say 34. That the next year will be much better. I have to do hacks like that. This time, I'll cut my birthday. I'll be like, "Fuck, I'm still 34." Where is my time? Where is my time? Oh my God! 
there recently and this is what happened like my girl got mad at me because I was not as excited <laughs> as she wanted me to be <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> Which in some way deeply hurt her feelings. <laughs> and I was sorry. <laughs> for what I did to her. <laughs> Clapping. They know they do that shit. <laughs> All girls have two birthdays every year. I can't be excited on my birthday. Fucking, I'm, I'm not, I'm old now, man. I'm not 19 happy about life for no reason. 19, your brain is ripped. You ask a 19 year old me, how was your day? I'll be like, amazing. What happened? Won a race. Where? On the highway. Against who? Everybody on the hype. <laughs> they don't know they were racing against me. <laughs> I'm old now, man. Plus, look at me. All the wrong body parts are showing positive growth. <laughs> <laughs> My leg has so much hair. You guys can't see it, but like, not just this leg, both of them. <laughs> There is no hair till hair. And then there is a massive increase of hair growth. Wow. It's like God gave up midway. It's like a weird gardener who garden ke hi kone paani dalta rahe. You just look at him, ya to pure mein dal de, wahan bhi rehne de. Toh sirf gulab ka hi full chahi. There is no hair till hair. And then there is fucking Virapan going on downstairs. It's weird, right? Even there is only one benefit, like there is a, even mosquitoes can't break it. <laughs> they are also like, nahi chahiye khun azadi do. Nahi chahiye khun azadi do. Oh God. He was funny from the beginning all the way to the end. Hilarious. Oh. I just love the way he tells you so. He's just like so, I don't chill and like, yeah. Everything, everything. Uh, you know what? And he just seems like he's not no, phased. People don't celebrate two birthdays. They do. No, they don't. I, don't I didn't celebrate yours. But you want to celebrate on my birthday. You just said to me recently. God didn't get to celebrate mine. So you're going to take my life. So I didn't celebrate mine. So I'm only going to celebrate yours. So it's not just women. I've never done any. I've never done what he said. So you're one. What is it? Was a girl who was asked to come to us? Because I just remembered that you said that on my birthday when you take me away, can we celebrate my birthday as well? Because I didn't celebrate my birthday. So, okay. But anyway, 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 what the heck, man? What? So funny. No, it was, it was. Even like, you know, the jokes that you're thinking, oh my God, where's this going? He even comes back to those and makes them out like, you know, like, come on, guys, these are jokes, man. Don't take this. You yeah. know, you're like, because they're genuinely people going, what? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you and your dad. Dude, we joke. I hope your dad's not watching this. But every single thing, it was just like, you know, having not only creating the humor of you know that from the start like he says to the finish yeah. but each thing that he was bringing like yeah. between him and um you know Mukesh and then also the gravestones and that then so his cute. birthday and it just kind of flew didn't it yeah yeah i mean it didn't seem that you know because of how it was and see if it's worth going yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> That's actually quite clever. I mean, like he says, I gave, I gave myself the gift of time, you know? I think he just seemed like a guy, like... Is that chilled what, way back? What, yeah. What's the point of getting fed up of dunya and how it's run and what everyone else is doing when truthfully, you know, like everyone wants to like work their asses off to then make the money, to then retire, relax and enjoy when if you actually want to enjoy Carlo. <laughs> you know, if you want to do it, Carlo, and that, and that's how these things is like. Just enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. I write this crap for you guys, and you like watching, and you like laugh. <laughs> the, 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 the kid that comes begging for him for money in the window. That was so funny. <laughs> but then he keeps getting jumped there, like that. Yeah, just just say capital, yeah, something capital, like that. And I was getting jumped there, but you know, to see me, I just had it. 
<laughs> you're just like, oh, I'm gonna make more money off you and not going yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that was the video. Thank you guys for sending it. He is really so funny. I mean, I'm surprised there's only two that we, this is the second one of these that we watched. And I'm guessing these are the two that are probably the funniest because I haven't had any other comments at all. Is there any other, um, Comedians that we haven't seen or we have seen but we haven't seen their videos that are really funny do write down in the comments below Let us know and also write down what do you guys think of this guy's jokes and humor because yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, it enjoyed it and don't forget to like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next see one. See you guys. Take care soon. Bye